So we've talked about AI in this episode oh, a, a little, like just a occasionally, just to dabble. Yeah, exactly. So why not talk about more? Except in this case, this is a local-based thing, and Ooh. that is our software spotlight with GPT-4 all, the number four. All one. We'll, you'll have a link in the show notes. So we have things like, you know, Siri. Garbage. Uh, Google Assistant. Garbage. Alexa. Garbage. Whatever. Cortana, I think that's Garbage. what it's called. Yeah, whatever. No one even cares about yours as Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's just chat GPT, so it's actually uh, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, is it though? Is it really? <laughs> it also hallucinates quite a bit. But anyway, the problem here is that these are not open source. And the software spotlight this week, like I said, is an open source assistant that is free to use and the kicker locally running on your system. And it yeah. doesn't seem to require tons and tons and tons and tons of setup, which is, I think is great because they have a flat pack. Thank you. Wow. It's, awesome. it's yeah. really good, Michael. Like this software spotlight, this thing is really well done. First of all, you get this really nice GUI when you install the flat pack. And the first thing it asks you is to choose a model. And guess what's there? Facebook's Llama. So this is all running locally again. Now, they Llama. do have an option to connect through API keys. So if you wanted to connect it to chat GPT or something like that, you can. But otherwise, the models are local. And so you have Mistral, Falcon, Llama, Llama 2, MPT, Replit, Starcoder, all of these options. In there. Wow. So I was playing with Llama. And its replies are really good. When we were in the WhatsApp discussion, I asked it, is WhatsApp truly end-to-end -end encrypted and private, for instance? And it is what spit back to tell me that, you know, it is end-to-end, -end, but there's issues with the fact of the data that it is collecting, um, specifically, you know, the person you're talking to and that type of stuff. And also goes and talks about all the potential um intercepts and and the fact that we don't know what happened on the server it goes through all of these details and it mentioned that it uses signals protocol an edited version of that so really good response right from a from a pretty interesting question there and right all run locally here so i don't have to give all of my data and information out to somebody else um, i also asked it if meta should go fully open source and it said 100 <laughs> percent yeah it didn't say that but i just want to of course. Pretend it did. Yeah. But also, so it has a lot of cool features. And like you mentioned, like it, it looks very nice. It actually feels like a basic chat uh, bot system. I didn't want to call it chat GPT because it's not. I mean, I guess you could technically. But uh, the fact that it has all these different models is really cool because I was only thinking of Llama and Mixtral and you started naming off the other ones and I didn't, haven't even heard of some of those. So I'm very excited to try these out. And I think it's very cool. If I had the ability to. Uh, switch between them. Like I send a message and say, here, I want this. And, you know, here's the, here's the prompt and it outputs something from Llama. It'd be really cool if I could switch it and say, okay, now I want it from Mixtral just to compare, you know, you can switch cool. models in your chat. So every time you click new chat, you can switch and choose a different model, which is really cool. That is and awesome. I told it to write me a Python program that told dad jokes and it actually wrote some really nice Python here and spit out the entire program. So this is not a, like a toy. Okay, thing. hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> what is one of the dad jokes? Uh, why did the uh -oh. scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding, outstanding in, his field. in his field. Yeah. 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 Okay. It, it's what do you be call a fake, a fake noodle? A fake oh, noodle? A fake, yeah. I don't, I don't know this one. An imposta. I did know this one. Dang it. I forgot. Ah, so good. So this is something I'm definitely going to have to download and install. I have used something like this in the past, not, not necessarily this one, but to help me write letters. And so I wrote the letter that I wanted and I have to be honest, it wasn't a very nice letter. And then I said, Hey, Just write take this letter and make it nice. <laughs> that explains and so much about it. that thing she sent us. <laughs> yeah. That letter was so nice, Wendy, by the time it got to us. We didn't know yeah. that chat GPT <laughs> was what edited it. Okay, okay. Uh, not the one where I was sending you feedback about robotics. No, not that one. I did uh, write okay. that one myself. Uh, but uh, I have, in the past, wrote the letter I wanted and then let AI make it nice for me. It's, it's probably a really good use for that. <laughs> <laughs> but I also want to say that it's this is a really cool uh, idea and a really cool application and I think that if you are interested in any kind of AI stuff, first of all, one, you should be because it's going to be changing a lot of stuff. 
Um, AI is super annoying. And the fact that so many things are building in AI for the most ridiculous reasons and our operating systems are now getting AI that are just completely intrusive, a.k.a. Windows and apparently iPhone. Who knows what they're going to do with this? But the... And to be real real quick, there are people who are coming from like these other operating systems to Linux because of this ridiculous stuff like Windows Recall and all that. Uh And I just want to say that the AI is going to be integrated into Linux in some way or another. It's already been worked on and that sort of thing. But the thing, the difference is, is that you have the control over it rather Mm -hmm. than having control over you. So it's okay in that sense. But I do kind of wonder like, how far do we take this? You know, there's like the, um, there's, I can't remember the, the name of the movie, but there was this one movie where this, uh, this phrase, the comp, this, uh, this guy referenced this as saying, Hey, how far are we going to go with this? And it says, well, actually the question is what level constitution do you have to go as far as needed? Mm. And I wonder, is that, is that the philosophy we are taking with AI? Because it seems like it, we're not going to stop. And and honestly, you can't put this back in the box. This is the problem is because of the world we live in, where every country is constantly wanting to, it seems like, go to war with the other country, or at least dislike mm-hmm. each other. Uh, if the United States put laws in place to say, we're going to restrict some of this, well, that gives another country right, a head start because they're not going to restrict it and they're going to get right. further ahead. So we know no matter what, the government's not going to put any guardrails on any of this stuff. They're going to go for it. Is it like what we mutual citizens- destruction for technology? Yeah. Or it's just going to keep going and going and going and there's no stop to it. Yeah. So if some people say, you know, if, you're, if we're going to take a vote, some people are going to say nay and others are going to say AI. Gosh, I don't even want. So let me tell you, though, <laughs> real quick, before we move on how good Llama 3 is. Like, I'm genuinely, genuinely Mm. impressed with this tool. Like, I'm probably going to utilize this more than any of the other ones out there. Let me give you an example. I gave it a prompt. We have a host that that is particularly sinister. Help her write a nice letter to two of her hosts, Michael and Ryan, and keep it just two sentences. So here's the draft it wrote. Dear Michael and Ryan, I hope this letter finds you both well rested after the last show, because I'm about to unleash my wrath upon your unsuspecting ears with, an, with Say another, this? With Does another actually, episode. Does it Just actually? Kidding, sort of. But seriously, thanks for being amazing hosts with you two, or our show would be as dull as a lecture on crop rotation. Sinisterly yours, Wendy. Okay, if that's actually what I it's swear, I will take a screenshot. Letter. Yeah, I'd actually yeah. write that letter. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> That's very good. It's really good. Like you guys got to check this thing out. This is this yeah, is definitely absolutely. an app to install. Real quick, I just want to point out it, it does say it's unverified, and that just means that it's not being maintained by the official project that is working on it. So uh, just just want to make that in, in case you care that you know just if you know. want an official package, you have to be on Ubuntu, Apple, or Windows. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. But at least there's a flat pack you can install if you want. Right. You can't install it. 